return to the public ear with Witch, and this is my review of that Witch, which shall be named Witch. It's a six minute song, that's right, that kicks off with a build up of symphony and rock band aesthetic that is polished with just the right amount of redstone that can transform into a sweet to unto block from the Black Parade of Minecraft, if you know what I'm saying. Gerard Way brings in more of a three cheers uh, vocal style over the bombastic production, and the song structure isn't too standard either, with an intro, a verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, an instrumental, a bridge over troubled waters, about death, of course, and an outro, which is an outro built of a certain number of la-la-las, and we'll talk about that if you stay for this whole video. I just had some coffee. Millennial woe oh these are not because Gerard Way might be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned. But he's a generation Xer all the way. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Gerard Way is not a millennial. Your heroes, you're a millennial. Your heroes are generation Xers. The first, or older, the first verse has Gerard at an awkward birthday party with someone who's hurt him in some way and he's forced to keep these feelings inside because society, we live in a society. The pre-chorus leads me to believe that this is a song about a vampire breakup. It's a vampire breakup story. No doubt making it way more tragic and heartbreaking in every way because vampires can in fact hurt you. They can hurt us. They hurt you in your heart. And the chorus, I, uh, this is a Twilight theme song. I, I just know it. Green Day should have put the Forgotten on their own thing and made it their own single. And this, this could be Edward's song. Because gosh, dang, it couldn't, it couldn't have made those movies any worse. It is... Is this this paper kingdom that we're hearing about? Is this a vampire concept record, a concept album? Is this what MCR were cooking? I'm I'm close. I had to do some research as I started thinking about vampires hurting me and stuff. And Paper Kingdom was a scrapped MCR album that was a supposed follow-up to Black Parade, and it's about a support group of parents who lost their children that have delusions of their children fighting witches in the woods. MCR wrote 25 songs for this wild sounding project and six were recorded and we've got titles I think for most of them. Just didn't work out the way they wanted it to. Sometimes they try, try, but it just doesn't work out. All they wanted was a Pepsi. It was gonna be a keyboard heavy uh, and radio-esque album and the vibe simply was not vibing, it was not to be fulfilled. Uh, it wouldn't have got them that vampire money. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know, like uh, like this. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. I love this one too. You bastard, you one-eyed bastard. I think the bridge of this song could be describing a battle with the wood witches in which the tormented parents are thrust and they thrust their anger and all their hurt, which matters in the end. Offspring references are in here too, I don't know why. They, they throw it at the witches. And whether the witches are good or evil, that doesn't matter in the end. Those days go by and we all get scrapped again. What you had and what you lost. Man, I'm, I'm a little emotional and I drank a lot of coffee just now. For some reason, I just saw Smash Mouth Live. I'm still mourning the death of Steve Harwell and my girlfriend dumping me and my hair. I, I haven't seen my hair in, in a long time. And oh, now we're at, we got, I, we talked a little bit about the La La La's. The La La La's are 33 in numerical value, according to Terrence Howard on the podcast, which 33 
is the age that Jesus was when he was crucified. Which, by My Chemical Romance, please don't call them MCR. They have a song called Witch, and despite being a demo from a scrapped album that sounded like Radiohead, it's a strong four out of five. 